Turn me out some cruise. Huh. I told Barcelona if them niggas hating, they gonna suffer. I'm going up a hundred every day. Today's topic, Turtle Beach. I got enough so good things to say about them. They garbage. They cost a fortune and they're just completely terrible. So a lot of people may know I bought some extra uh, 420X stealth the other day. Well, not the other day, but a couple months ago, probably like three months ago now, four months ago. And I was like, yeah, they're very good headphones. When I unboxed them, of course, they were very good. Everything was good on them for about two months. And then they just went downhill from there. <clears throat> um, I've had two pairs of turtle beaches. Actually, three. The one I returned just because I wanted different ones. And but yeah, I, I've had two. I have X, I had X32s for an Xbox 360. But those I don't know what happened to those. Maybe those stopped working too. But uh, I'm talking about the 420s right now because you know that's what happened right now. I really forgot about the other ones. So yeah, they just kind of stopped working. Oh wow, that was very disrespectful. That's why you're dead. Anyway, so it kind of like they. They would not reconnect back to the Xbox. I used them for about two months, like I just said. One night I was playing kind of late in the night, and I turned them off, and they made a loud beeping noise. And I thought it was someone, someone else's mic in the party. And it turned out it wasn't. It was my mic. And they just would not reconnect from there. I contacted Turtle Beast. They took a long two weeks, you know, a long ass like ten business days to get back to me. And when they did, they take a good like three days to reply. So. Even if you have the same case number, they take forever to fly. So I just sent my headphones out today, which was just because I want I need to exchange them to get new ones. Which was, that was a good thing about them. They have a year warranty, so they always will be able to um, exchange your headphones for you. Unless, I mean, unless it's beyond that year. But mine weren't beyond that year because I only had them for like two for two months, like I just said. So I had ten more months left, which I just returned them, so that was a little while now. But they don't. I don't think I ever told them the exact date I bought it anyway. Which they could probably easily find the serial number, or whatever, whatever. But it's not. I know it's not past a year anyway. That's obvious. But yeah, so I sent them back today. I have to wait for them to send me back new headphones. I mean, like I said, which is good that um they have that warranty year warranty on it. But come on, they shouldn't be breaking anyway. I spent 160 on them. Yeah, I think it was either 160 or 150, close enough. That's still a lot, a lot of money for some headphones. You know? They should not be breaking. I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot of good things about Astros, so maybe I'll suggest Astros now. Which I mean, I I can suggest them. I won't really know until I get them and use them, which I probably won't be getting for right now until these turtle beaches or whatever happens to them again. But yeah. Turtle Beach, not so good. I've had not good time with them. Not a good time at all. They, I mean, they were very good for the two months. No problems at all. Sound good. And they were wireless, so, you know, I enjoyed them. I could listen to music while gaming and hear everything. Chat, party, like everything else. Gaming, audio. Sound good. Rechargeable and built batteries, so you don't have to get buy batteries yourself or whatever. You just charge it up. Which was good, because whenever I knew they were about to die, I would just charge them, so next day I could use them the whole day. But that's not even, like, I mean, that was no problem to me. The whole, the headphones itself was no problem. It was mostly just the fact that I bought them for that much money. And then they stopped working. After that amount of money I spent on it, there should, should be nothing wrong with them, because they're still in great condition. I put them in the FedEx box today and sent them away. Hopefully I get the new one soon. I'm going to email Turtle Beach as soon as I'm done with this video. <clears throat> just to let them know that, you know, I sent it out and whatever, whatever, whatever. And yeah, because that's unacceptable. Come on, Shadow Beach, step your game up, man. Y'all so expensive. Y'all cost like half a thousand dollars. Probably sometimes more than that, I believe. In the 500 and stuff like that. So, you know, I believe y'all should be a lot better than that. Because that's just sad. For the amount of money I, I could spend on some Shadow Beach, I could buy some beats and plug it to the bottom of my controller and use it and probably not have any problems. Well, let's not get into beats. Could be too expensive for no reason to. But anyway, Turtle Beach. I don't know. I've I've heard more and more people talking about how Turtle Beach is just not good. But since I've had no major problems, because my last headphones I assumed it was my fault for whatever reason, some wiring issue. I assumed that was my fault, and that's why I decided to go wireless this time. But then 
Yeah, so I don't know, man. Turtle Beach is just... Why the cell phones are usually quiet? But these ones are really good. I, I When I did the unboxing video, I made it seem like they were really good. Like I already used them. Which, they re to me, they really were. Because when I made the unboxing video, I looked up online. They were very good. Everyone said they were good and everything. Um, when I unboxed it, there was nothing wrong with them at all, obviously. Because they were brand new. So, yeah. I didn't have any problem with it. Move car. Move car. Oh, wow. You're good. I didn't have any problems. Keep the license plate, though. I didn't have any problems with them at all. They are really good. They sounded great. They felt great. Everything about them was great. They weren't too heavy. Uh, everything. And then since I have the Elite Controller, which I don't have any problems with, I use that long cable that comes with the Elite Controller for the headphones. And I used to play and charge them. Which is also another good feature about them. You could leave them on and play. Like, um, charge them while playing and everything. So that was a good feature. But, I mean, I have nothing bad to say about the headphones itself. I don't know if it's... Those headphones, to me, were very good at the time. Like, while they lasted, they were good.